had this dream, kind of a waking dream of a two swans, one black, one white, both in a kind of a comforting entanglement and also um, constricting. I wasn't sure what they meant at the time, but I did write on the back of the sketch, I am both the best and worst of my actions. My name is Maggie Higgins, and I'm a multimedia artist from St. John, New Brunswick. I think what the swans symbolized for me was the duality of the self, that we do things that are both our best selves and our worst selves, and we are both of those in all moments of our lives. Every time I make art, I'm trying to process or work through some sort of conflict or something that often is subconscious that through art I can bring to the surface. I use the symbol or the actual situation of dealing with animals. What I really like to do is work from life, so uh, working at the New Brunswick Museum. Not only am I fascinated by the actual anatomy and the beautiful symbol of the animals, I'm also really interested in why or what it means for humans to have a uniquely human instinct to record, research, keep these specimens. When you look at animals, they act purely to instinct, to need, there's a lot of love in animals as well. There's a lot of emotion, but there isn't this desire to have some sort of hierarchy or gain power uh, the way that humans do. And I think something like the museum is a means of separating the human from the natural world as a way to put ourselves higher on the hierarchy of the animal and human interaction. Art, like uh, a lot of things, specifically I often think of the example of religion, is a way to navigate the way you want to move throughout the world, to take the world in, process it and understand it, but also to work through um, some of your personal conflicts. So that initial quote that I wrote on the back of the sketch of the white and black swan, I am both the best and the worst of my actions, has really fed into this series, but I've realized that what I need to focus on going forward is that worst part. By accepting it, I can confront it, I can control it, and it won't have the same power. I think we want to consider ourselves essentially good people, and I think that's because we kind of separate a lot of moral and ethical issues as right or wrong, when the gray area, that white and that black, are a lot more entangled than we think they are. I might be a black swan when I do something that's ego-driven or I do something that will be against my ethical code. And then a white swan self would be acting as my ideal self, which is taking in an animal from a racetrack, giving it love, treating it you know, with as much humanity as I treat um, another person. I use goose as kind of, always kind of anchors me back to the idea that animals tell us a lot about our own humanity.